What's going on YouTube? GS1 right here. So in today's video we have some great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 15.0, 15.0.1, 15.0.2 .1, and 15.1. A brand new exploit seems to have been achieved. This video is brought to you by Anytrans, a software that allows you to drag and drop files directly from your computer to your device, manage your photos, music, videos and applications and even switch from a device to another if you get a new device. Check it out in the link below. So just a couple of hours ago developer 08TC3WB posted the hash for basically a text file called iOS 15 code execution zero day. So apparently this is a zero day that allows code execution on iOS 15 but they do not have any plans to release it for the moment. The reason for that is that it seems to be zero day. So if it's zero day it means that not even Apple knows what's going on for the moment. Basically they are the only developer presumably that know about the vulnerability and that have created an exploit for it. Now this is not the first of this kind. Bradia posted at the beginning of the month this photo in here which apparently seems to be another kernel exploit for iOS 15.1 which also got the kernel slide and read and write privileges because as you can see they call WK64 or write kernel 64 and RK64 or read kernel 64 and they do work and that is on the iPhone 13.4. Now I'm not sure if this is the same bug if they found basically the same vulnerability and they have their own zero day but found it independently or if it's actually a completely different bug but both of them aren't currently released because of course they are zero day which means that they're not part of any security release they are not patched yet which means they work on the latest version because if you check out here on my website on iDevice Central if you select a device you're going to see that iOS 15.1 is currently the latest version so 15.1 currently signed now if this works on 15.1 there is a slight chance it would work on 15.0 15.0.1 and 15.0.2 as well and probably even older if you think about it it could work on 14.8 14.7 as well but they tested on iOS 15 because 14 is basically dead and buried at this point it's been unsigned for a long time and iOS 15 has had already like four different iterations of stable releases and a lot of betas so iOS 14.x is no longer the target of security researchers but as time passes they will release what they have for iOS 14.6 14.7 and so on now will this be usable for uncover or for Torin? well it depends on what this contains code execution execution is great and it can be used for jailbreak purposes but it depends on what it can achieve and how constrained it is. We don't know much about this but we do know that this one in here by Bridey App has kernel read and write privileges. So this one is definitely usable for a jailbreak because of the read and write permissions you can read and write to the kernel memory thus applying patches which are required for jailbreaking like for example get root or escape sandbox and patch anthid and stuff like that so those require you to have primitives that can read and write to the kernel memory. Now we don't know if this one in here does the same thing, it could, it could be the same bug for all we know, probably not but it could be, so until any of these get released we don't know much at the moment, however it's nice that they are indeed achieved because iOS 15 does change a lot, as I said in my previous videos there are some changes that would break chillbreaking that need to be addressed by either Uncover or Torin when they're going to update their tools, so it's good to see that it's still vulnerable, it's still rather easy to find vulnerabilities in iOS 15 but those are zero day for the moment so we wouldn't expect them right now. So what's the best course of action for now if you're waiting for Uncover or Turing to be updated and you're running iOS 15, 14.8, 14.7, 14.6 and so on? Well I would definitely not advise you to update the 15, it's a bad idea, do not update the 15.1 no matter how many vulnerabilities are demoed, stay as low as possible but save your blobs. You can use the air squared blob saver here, I made a tutorial a couple of days ago, you can find it here on releases and it's available for both Windows Mac OS, Linux and stuff and you will be able to save your blobs even on the A12 and newer devices. Save your blobs for the iOS 15.1 so that you can jump to it when the opportunity arises and of course when a jailbreak is available or an exploit gets released. But for now stay as low as possible if you're running 14.x. Remember that not even CheckRain can jailbreak properly the iOS 15 at the moment, it would fail. So definitely stay on iOS 14 for now. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow and till the next time subscribe to stay updated. Peace out.